Bonjour, hey everybody. Looks like I have a mullet. I swear I don't. It just, my hair looks weird today. Okay. <laughs> uh, it's still not dry and I just took a shower. I hate this. My hair never dries. I swear to God, it's never dry. Never. Never. Why are you taking a shower at night, Megan? Because Megan spent three hours at a skating rink, ice skating. That's why. And I'm tired, which is why this video is going to be rather short. It's going to be quite short. Yeah, because I did homework in the morning when I woke up because I was like, if I don't do this now, I'm never going to do it, which is my life. <laughs> then I went to reward myself with ice skating because ice skating is fun. And our ice rink is open year round. Hallelujah. Yes. It was fun. It was fun. I don't know how to do anything special, I just like it, and I like just, just going around the ice. It's weird, but it's fine. It's fine. It makes me happy, and that's what matters. I had fun. Also today, we have a new student in the house. Her name is Tessa. She is from the Netherlands. <laughs> and she's about an hour outside of Belgium, actually, which is cool. And she is here for the next two months. So Isabella is here for another month. She will be here through to the beginning of May. And no, yes, March, April. Yes, beginning of May. And apparently after Isabella leaves for Mexico again, we're going to get a guy here up for like two weeks. I mean, I don't really care, but why only two weeks? What are you going to get out of that? I don't understand. I'm two weeks. That ain't gonna help your French at all. A two week class isn't gonna do anything. It, it, mm, I don't know. I just struggle with defining the point of that. I don't know, he can live his life, whatever. He's gonna be in Isabella's room for two weeks and then he'll be gone. I probably won't learn how to pronounce his name properly in that time, so we'll, we'll just... I know nothing, so I'm just gonna go with it. <laughs> and basically everything's going pretty well in the house. Um, it's interesting because there's now going to be three girls. Luckily, I'm only sharing the bathroom with Isabella so we're not all fighting over like bathroom times or whatever. We usually don't anyway simply because I'm far too used to doing that kind of thing. I had two sisters. Had. They're not dead. I have two sisters, I just don't live with them anymore. <laughs> I grew up sharing a bathroom with two other girls. I grew up sharing everything, so not not a big deal for me. <laughs> and so it's interesting. You'd think there'd be more drama because usually there is more drama between women and I don't know, it's blown up more usually. I don't know. Media makes me think, oh, this could be walking on eggshells every day, or just us being besties. There is no in-between. But yes, there is an in-between. It's where Isabella's never home, and I'm sitting here like always home, doing work. Isabella doesn't do work. It worries me. Well, <laughs> she will have to face the consequences of not doing her homework. I'm not her parent, I'm not her older sister, so I'm not gonna act like it. And she's really nice, she's very sweet. I like talking to her. She's really an interesting person with a cool perspective on life. I like the way uh, she experiences things, I like the way she sees the world, so that's always good. She's a good person to talk to. And Tessa's really sweet. She's really, she's really tired today because she started her journey at like 11 a.m. and got here um, 
right before dinner for us, which is usually seven. So that's it's a long time to be traveling. She took a plane from Brussels to Nîmes, and then a train from Nîmes to um, Montpellier. So she was kind of tired, and she also said that she studied French for two, four, four years, then took two years of not doing French. So she's coming back here to help bring it back a little bit, which I think is cool. I think that's cool. But yeah, she's she's struggling with hearing and understanding the spoken French more. Her writing is really good, and she understands what's written really well. Go her. Um, but I've now become like an intermediary between Anik and Tessa, and it's only been one night. <laughs> It'll get better. It will. I'm sure she will do fine. She will be taking classes and she is really into like healthy eating and stuff, which is cool. I mean, I'm not, but it's always good to have people around you who are simply because it makes me more aware of what I'm eating and I need to be more aware of what I'm eating. <laughs> but yeah, it was a good time. It was a good time. She seems really nice. Hopefully, we'll be able to spend some time together, and it'll be fine. But yeah, that's what I did today. Oh, this video is actually a normal length. Go me, even though I'm tired and my legs are really sore. <laughs> Ow. <laughs> I will see you guys tomorrow, as per usual, and I hope you're having a wonderful day, night, or whatever you guys are doing right now. Au revoir. Bye, everybody.